This Friday at 5 p.m., many people expected to gather for this year's annual West Jeff Family Fest. It's to raise money for the Jefferson Medical Center and to help local cancer patients. And here to tell us more about this is Melissa Simon, the clinic director of the Cancer Center at West Jeff Medical Center, and Jacqueline Petucci, a cancer survivor. Guys, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having Welcome. us. Welcome. Okay, well, let me start first with uh, Jacqueline. Tell us about, you know, what this event means for you, given what you have gone through. I was diagnosed with cancer two years ago. Uh, I am a cancer survivor. Mm -hmm. I have to give a lot of credit to my family and friends and that helped me through what I was going through and especially the cancer center. Mm -hmm. The people over there were so great with everything when I was going through the treatment and whenever I had a problem it was mm -hmm. easy for me to call did to call them and talk to them about it and they were always there for us and the cancer center at West Jefferson is great I mean it helped out people it's always helping us out to do what they need and we want people to go out to this fun fest that they're uh -huh. getting ready to have on uh, this weekend right so that way they can help a lot more survivors you know, with the cancer that's going on. Our own Nancy Parker will be emceeing. Tell us about the event that she'll be helping to emcee and, you know, what people can expect when they turn out and where okay. it's happening. So the Family Fest kicks off mm -hmm. tomorrow evening at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, there's live music, food, mm -hmm. there's a uh, car and bike show, mm -hmm. there's an I Pink I Can Run Saturday mm -hmm. morning, there's a kid zone with rides for kids. Mm -hmm. And admission is free for all ages. Right. And the proceeds from the food and beverages and the rides go towards um, the cancer center and the patients. It helps to cover things like co-pays, um, nutritional supplements, and even basic transportation. Because for many people, that's difficult and um, it's a hardship. We don't want them to have to worry about finances and things like that. We want them to concentrate on their health and well-being. How much money did you raise last year? How much are you hoping to raise this year? I'm not sure of the specific numbers, but the weather's great, so we're hoping mm -hmm. that a lot of people come out, and we're hoping for a good turnout with, uh, so that we can continue to help patients in the upcoming year. Okay, so it's kicking off tomorrow, and the location again for people to show up at? So it's right behind West Jefferson Medical Center on mm -hmm. Avenue B, um, and like I said, it kicks off at 5 o'clock tomorrow and runs till 11 Friday night. Then on Saturday, the fun starts at 8 a.m. with the run, mm -hmm. and the festival starts at 9 and goes till 10 o'clock at night. Okay, Jacqueline, as a cancer survivor, first of all, you know, I'm sure your family and congratulations on sticking in there and that, and that fight to survive and being, you could say, I'm standing here, I survived this, you can too. Right. Um, how does this help, you know, the little things, the little bills and stuff from your perspective, just well, having like, that extra funds? Like I said, I was, you know, I'm excited to help out. Not only am I a fan of the cancer center, but I am also was also a client. And I see the need that people have, and it's amazing that the West Bank community and the hospital can come together to help all the cancer survivors and cancer patients that, you know, need this help of the transportation or co-payments. Did it help like you with transportation? Yes, it did. Well, transportation, it wasn't a bad thing because I had family and friends mm -hmm. that would take me to the center, you know, when I needed because it was an eight-hour mm -hmm. process. And... Um, but as far as like co-payments and stuff like that, it helped out with that. So I didn't have to come up front with all the money that is expensive to it. Uh, their lunches that they give us, they also give us lunches during the time that you're going through your treatments. Yeah. Um, so it was, you know, it's, it's a great place and it's a great place to come out and help right. with the community and the cancer center. The nurses over there are <laughs> fantastic. I mean, they are great with everyone. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in, and it's uh, really for a good cause. And when we see, put a face to the people that you're helping, like Jacqueline, it makes a huge difference in getting people to come on board. Appreciate it. Thank Hope you. Thank you very now. much. Thank you.